What's up, y'all? It's Bricks from Bricks Fitness. And it's Arda from Bricks Fitness. Today, I got a special video for you guys. Before I started YouTube, I used to wa watch all these YouTubers, you know, inspire people, and it, it kind of made me want to do the same thing. And one of the first YouTubers that I used to watch was this dude, Danny Gets Fit. So he hit me up a few weeks ago, and we both have a common mission to help inspire people and help show people that it's possible to lose healthy weight and uh, make it a lifestyle, keep it off. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, so without further ado, my man Danny Gets Fit has a special video for you guys. Enjoy it. What is going on guys? Danny Gets Fit here, and of course, welcome to the video. Ready to go? So what is up guys, welcome to the video. My name is of course Danny It's Fit, like I just said. Uh, first off, I wanna thank Bricks Fitness for allowing this opportunity to happen. We've been in contact for a few weeks now and we just you know, like each other's content. Obviously we have similar stories with weight loss and we just wanna connect our supporters and our followers so hopefully that we can inspire you know, people that we haven't you know, talked to yet or people who haven't seen our content yet. So we're just trying to spread the good message of healthy weight loss and fitness. So anyways guys, so a bit about me is in the past three years, um, I've lost 140 pounds. The first initial weight loss was in the first like year and a half. And from there I've done like a, 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 a you could call it a bulk, but I've done two or so bulks where, I, where I've had still, you know, had to learn how to properly be in a surplus of calories. Um, I gained a lot of fat back, not like a, you know, all my weight back, but I gained around 30 to 40 pounds both times. The second time around, I'm obviously learning a lot more from it and I'm working right now to now lose the weight in prep for my first competition for November. So that's essentially a little bit about me and what's going on right now in my life. But today, we are uh, currently getting some lunch because it's a, I've had a later start to the day. So I don't have time to make some up at home. So we're just gonna grab a Quiznos sub and then I'm gonna go hit a leg day in about an hour and a half. So that's pretty much it. Food, gym, and then uh, we'll see what the rest of the day has in store. But first off, most important, food. Wearing shorts today because it's so warm out here. I live in Canada, believe it or not, and it's 15 degrees out today. Short stay. So got a large honey bourbon chicken sandwich. It's like the leanest sandwich you can essentially get at Quiznos. And I just got a small chili on the side. So we're gonna eat this up. I always like to have a meal before I work out. So we're gonna eat this up, wait about an hour, and then head to the gym, do a leg day. Okay, so lunch is finished. Wanted to quickly just kind of note what kind of diet I followed. And I didn't really follow a diet. Um, I think of it more like a lifestyle just because, you know, diets are temporary, lifestyles are forever. Um, but I follow just tracking your macros. I just track my macros throughout the day. I try to keep my diet 80% whole foods, 20% kind of on the go, whatever. So yeah, today that sandwich happened to be around 800 calories plus the side chili was around 150, so like 950. Usually I wouldn't have that big of a meal, but since it's later in the day and it's around two o'clock, um, I can fit that many calories in. And then I still have like a thousand calories for the rest of the day. So that's pretty much it. Track macros, pretty much how I did it throughout the whole time. I started with just tracking calories and then I slowly worked my way into tracking macros. And uh, there's a video on my channel and there's tons of other videos you can look on YouTube to kind of discover more about flexible dieting and tracking your macros if you want. Um, that's the diet I follow and it's worked wonders for me. It's helped me, you know, not cut out any certain foods but also still stay true to like a good healthy diet while being able to curb cravings throughout the way, you know, resulting in a lesser chance of there being for like binge eating or like you know restriction and then you eat a ton more because you haven't had that certain food in so long so it kind of reduces that effect and helps someone kind of live like a just a regular lifestyle while still being healthy that's what i found and for anyone wondering this is fluffy she's my girlfriend and i's little havanese mix come on come on fluffy we call her fluff for short originally we we got her from a previous owner um who named her Fluffy, so we just shortened it to Fluff because she's fluffy. I'm filming a video for Brooks Fitness. Hi. So this is my girlfriend, Sage. She just got back from her own gym session. What'd you do? I did chest and shoulders. Chest and shoulders? Yes. You go good? Yes. Good. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, what's happening? Ain't nothing, man. In freaking Walmart, doing my my cutting haul. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Shred, bro, so. 
Nice, nice. Yeah, um, up? I'm what's up? What you got going on? I'm just filming uh, part of the video. Uh, I'm about to go do leg day, and I'm already doing squats, but I figured I'd call you and let you build the rest of my workout since it's it's your video. All right, cool. So you said squats is the only thing you had in mind so far? Yeah, I'm gonna do like heavy squats to start out, and then the rest is kind of like whatevs. All right, I'll make sure I give you the, 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 the leg workouts that I hate the most. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so look, you're gonna do some like dumbbell lunges, right? Do oh, down. okay. Dumbbells to do walking lunges. Okay. Some um, leg press. So like leg like press. Leg press and heavy. Yeah, some leg leg press. Then give me some more. Uh, what's what's that? Uh, what's the the ball? Yeah, the ball gearing split squat. You put your you put one foot up on yeah. the bench. Okay. Work them glutes. Yeah, I hate those. And then some front <laughs> squats. That's it. Front. Oh, you got me doing front squats. That's like that's like the vegetables of exercise. Yeah. Let's no start off with leg press so you can you know warm, warm up. up. Make sure your legs, is, yep, and then and then get into your front, front squat. squat. Then then do your your lunges, lunges. and then your uh, Bulgarian split squat. And Bulgarians. Okay, sounds good, man. Fuck. Yep. All right, bro. We'll talk to you later. Later. Peace. Don't tell it on me. One, two, three, four, five. I am the greatest rapper alive. Usually what I do is I would go over my exercises, give tips while doing them and everything, but I've done two recent videos on leg day and uh, put out some informative content with that. So today I'm just gonna do the other thing I do, which is I usually just throw the workout together in a little edit with the overlay of like what I'm doing. And uh, so you guys can check it out, follow along if you want. And then we'll check in with you after the workout and uh, I'll let you guys know how it went because not every workout's gonna be great, but I hope this one will be. Let's do it. So there's two informative leg days I've made recently you can go check out on my channel. I would really appreciate it if you went over and subscribed, liked the videos that you like. Otherwise, one thing with my channels I try to do is I try to be as honest and transparent as possible. Not only on YouTube, but also on Instagram, on Facebook, all my social media platforms, because I think it's, I think it's important to show not just the ups, but also the downs. Um, this journey isn't just one way, it's a full, cycle of ups and downs so i try to show all those so that's what i meant by essentially this workout couldn't be the best but you know i'm gonna make do i'm gonna do my best and we'll see what happens so let's get that workout done now This guy got me doing front squats. I like never do front squats. <laughs> okay, so finish bricks this part of the workout. Man, you killed me. You got me to do two things I never do, and I'm weak. As heckin', <laughs> but uh, whatever. It's all about, you know, using the actual muscle during the lift. So I just focused on lighter weight, really focused on doing the movement properly, squeezing the muscle. It's not always about how much weight you lift, um, even though me considered, compared to most people my size, I'm pretty weak. <laughs> just because, like, I didn't focus on strength training for a long time, as well as I was in like a two-year deficit of calories without doing any strength training when I didn't really know what I was doing in the gym. Now. You know what I'm doing, so I'm slowly progressing in strength. It's coming up. My my three lifts are deadlift is 315 for two, my bench is 225 for one, and then my squat is 220 or 245 for three. That's my maxes. For anyone who cares. <laughs> okay, guys, workout is done. I'm exhausted. It was a good workout today. Oh, anyone here? No, sweet. Going to uh, do my normal 30 minutes of cardio, but I uh, want to check the leg pump first. Oh. Woo. Okay, enough of my legs. My white AF legs. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the workout. 30 minutes of cardio, and I'll see you in a bit. Doing cardio. Doing about half an hour. I do 12 and a half incline, two and a half speed for whatever length I'm doing. And then I'll just up the, I'll up the minutes to around 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and then I go back down to 30 minutes and then I'll up the incline or speed. 
that's pretty much all I do. Just finished up the workout, <coughs> watched a little bit of bricks himself, and uh, bro, I agree with you. Pre-workout does make you want to poop. <laughs> in that video he said, pre-workout makes him want to poop, and I think it's just caffeine in general. Whoops, I just hit my headphones on that car. <laughs> it's like, I think coffee's worse, I don't know why. If I drink coffee, it's like, it's, it's go time. <laughs> pre-workout's still, still there, but not as bad. But uh, yeah, headed home now. I have some plans tonight to do a little traveling. So I gotta go get home and get some work done. Get a YouTube video edited and uploaded for today. Gotta get some food after the workout because I think pre-workout and post-workout nutrition is important. It's not as important as like the anabolic window that you hear about. That's absolute bro science and not needed. A good source of protein and carbs after the workout is key. So I'm gonna figure out what I wanna eat. I don't know yet. I just I struggle with that like almost every time after workout. It's like, what do I want to eat? I love food, but what kind of food? Also, for my sneaker heads out there, them triple white boosts though. Oh! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little fluffy dog. Little fluffy dog. Booty. Look at that booty though. <laughs> Come here. Fluffy. You are the cutest thing ever. I love you. I love you. I lo oh, okay. Go away. <laughs> try to film. Try to film a video. Don't you get that, dog? Don't you get it? You're interrupting my video time. Go away. No, that's not. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I said go. Why do you love me so much? Oh, the lighting in my house is so crappy. Water. <sighs> I drink about four liters to like a gallon for you Americans, uh, a day of water. After the gym here for my snack, I'm just gonna have a scoop of protein with some cashew milk. So that's pretty much gonna be it for after the gym nutrition. I use uh, just dynamic muscle prey protein. No, it's not left. <laughs> Seriously, that's not a good sound. That's not a good sound. I got lots more, don't worry. Making my shake now, now. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Protein, I need you. Do, 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 do. I'm so lame. If I could make all the gains. Okay, guys, so usually at the end of my vlogs, what I do is I go over some form of content, I answer questions, whatever it may be. But today, I just filmed a Fact Friday video, which essentially is a video every Friday that I do where I answer two questions from the comment section. So that is up on my channel from yesterday so go check it out if you go ahead over there that is where you'll get informative content like I usually do so go check that out and then also just if you like today's video please do subscribe me and bricks fitness are you know have similar journeys and I'm pretty sure we're in this for the same thing and that is just to inspire and educate as many people as possible to know that it's possible to lose weight in a healthy way and change your life and to transform for the better and for the positive so thank you for guys for watching this video Comment down below because I would love to hear your comments about my video, about whatever you want to talk about. If you want to bash me, I'm ready for your negativity. Um, that's pretty much it. Of course, a second time, thank you to Bricks Fitness for allowing this opportunity. I'm sure that you guys can go check out his video that he put on my channel today. Um, other than that, let's just end off this video like I usually do. So until next time, guys, until next time, stay swole, my friends. Stay swole. Woo!